We are recording. Hi right. guys, my name is Jake. I'm going to talk to you all today about kayaking. Kayaking was invented by the Inuit tribes. They're usually around the northern hemisphere, so around Alaska and Greenland. They were used originally as hunter boats. That's what the word kayak means. Originally they were made by seal skin and whale bones or other kind of wood and animal skin, but today they're made of regular plastic. Kayaking has been around, obviously, for a really long time. It was usually used for hunting, but now it's just an everyday water day sport, and it's really fun. You can go out on adventures daily. You can just spend all day on the water. According to a post by the Woody Island Resort, it became an Olympic sport the summer of in the winter. No, sorry, the summer Olympics in Germany. And from then, it went on to be in, in the Olympics every year. Your typical equipment for kayaking. Make sure it's turned on. Touch screen it. Okay. This is one of your regular kayaks. This is an ocean kayak. There are several different types of kayaks. This one is made for the ocean because it's open up, so you're not trapped in there. That way, when you get caught in a bigger swell, you don't get tumbled over than you would in a, in a cockpit kayak. You can see the two, the holes in the back and the front. That helps to drain the water out. And these kayaks are also used for fishing kayaks because they're more durable and stable than a cockpit kayak. And for ocean kayak, when you usually go fishing, you can have them adjusted or they have holes put in. We can put in your fishing rod. And right here, you can see these clamps on each side in the front and the back. You can have canopies go over you. That way it keeps the sun off of you. For a cockpit kayak, you can have different accessories go with it. This is called a spray skirt, which goes around the rim of the cockpit and that squeezes you to keep the water from going in. This is really helpful, especially if you're going out on colder days, because it keeps the water from getting inside the cockpit, and that can really give you a problem, especially if it's really cold and you get hypothermia. And then with a cockpit kayak, cockpit kayak you can also have a rudder to go to the back but you cannot have that on an ocean kayak because it's open. With the rudder it will be basically right there and on the inside of the cockpit you have two pedals on your left and right foot and you can control going left and right. That controls it a lot easier especially when you're paddling because when you're paddling with an open ocean kayak you have to control the whole boat with the paddle so when you have to turn you have to control that whole kayak with the paddle and they're really a lot bigger than the cockpit kayak. For kayaking, you use a double-bladed paddle, not like a regular canoe paddle. A lot of benefits have come off of kayaking, especially with your health. Include, according to your article on Better Health, it has a lot of improvement on your heart because of all the exercise you're using and especially your upper body strength. And with doing that, you're also relieving the pain in your joints and the ligaments in your body and keeping them flexible. Down here in Brunswick, if you want to go kayaking, you can go to Southeast Adventures. They're located beside Marshside. You can go on day adventures with them, or you can just go on regular two-hour tours, and they usually take you through the sloughs behind Marshside, and that's a lot of fun. But if you feel like doing the day tour, they do an Ottawa Hall day tour, and they even do some camping trips. So you paddle down all the way to Ottawa Hall, and you stop off somewhere in the woods, and you go camping overnight, and it's fun to kayak back all the way in the morning. Thank you.